Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm Atova and I've got another high fleet tutorial for you. This one's called Radar Defense Part 2 and it's an extension of Part 1. Now since Part 1 I've learned a lot more, I've played a lot more and I've kind of learned how to use Ellen effectively and now I'm now I'm employing that in my in my game. I'm having a much more successful time avoiding enemy strike groups. Let's get to it. So just the first thing we're going to look at is in the ship works. Now there are a lot of sensors on your ship and I never really looked at these in depth. And then I saw other people doing it on Discord and I thought I, I need to learn these if I, if I want to play a little bit better. I need to learn how some of these work because I'm kind of going in blind. Not really understanding how my radar works. So I went into Shipworks and had a look. And then I looked at the Elink sensor over here and you can see it's got a range of 1500 kilometers. That means it can detect radar uh, radar emissions from 1500 kilometers. There's also a bunch of other stats you should look at um, with regards to infrared and things like that. I'm not going to go into them now, but just take a look at, at the, all the different stats just so you've got an idea of how deep this game is. Now I've got a scenario here where my Ellen has detected something um, and it's on the first yellow segment and I've got a kind of bearing going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tools in game to draw 1500 kilometers because I know that's the furthest Ellen can reach. And as far as I can tell, uh, the segments kind of relate to 1500 and then I don't know if these are totally accurate, I can't find anywhere to get the actual stats for them. But I've kind of gone from 1500 to 1250 to 1000, 750, 500 and 250 when the bottom part of the red circle flashes. And I've tried this a couple of times and they seem to match up there or thereabouts. So I'm just going to plot my circles on here because I've got a contact and I can see the bearing. Um, I think that's about 60. So I'm putting my 1500 in. I'm putting my 1250 in. 1000. It's hard to get bang on with them. So there or thereabouts. 750. And then 500. It does look a little bit messy but since I've started playing like this I've been a bit better at detecting things and getting away from things. It's important to note these are only really for strike groups as I've not been able to detect missile carriers with these and um, aircraft carriers either. So what I'm doing as well is I'm looking at my radar and I've kind of moved where the bearing is, I've put that in the centre and then I've just drawn on the map a rough version of where that bearing is so I know a target's in there somewhere and then you can kind of get an idea of where it is on the map looking at the you know considering the enemies tend to use these trade routes or routes between cities you can kind of get an idea so I've just plotted a point where I think that enemy will be and then for testing purposes I've just moved a little bit closer to see if I can kind of bait it and what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I was right so I'm just erasing that it's moved closer it's now in the uh, I believe that's a thousand segment so I'm just gonna do some circles again just plotting them out just to get me a rough estimate and I should have left the other cross on the, on the map so you could see the path but for some reason I deleted that and then you can kind of get an idea of how your target's moving where it's going, what direction it's travelling and a more accurate bearing so I'm moving the radar now just to, just to visualise where it could be and then I'm drawing that on on my map and then kind of estimating where I think that concept is going to be. So there we go, I've kind of got an idea where it's travelled from. It's around there somewhere, I'm thinking along the, tr along the trade route coming down. So I'm just moving ahead again, I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes just to, to try and confirm where that strike group is. It's getting a lot closer now. Their range is 750, so if I'm, even with my, my radar off, if I'm within 750, they can see me. So they know where I am. So I'm on the edge of that range now, I'm in the 750 part, so things are going to get dangerous now. And I've kind of got a good idea where it is, it's going to be near that city. Gonna move a little bit further just to see if I can get it to pop up. J 
just wanted to check my ranges there. And these tools are really useful. I'd never really used them up until up until today, really, when I learned about Ellen. So I've kind of got an idea. I know it's there somewhere. I didn't want to totally send my fleet in. And there we go. I know it's on the edge. I know it's really close. And these are just rough estimates. I did have a missile flight, and then so I just cut that out. But then there it is. Uh, the strike group is pretty much where I thought it would be, and I just used the in-game tools to do this and used Ellen effectively. Um, it's completely changed my game. Like if you if you're following my let's play, I'm not sure what episode it is, maybe eight or nine, when I start to use this technique, and it works really well. And I'm definitely going to carry on using it. So I just thought I should really update this video. So thanks for watching, just a little disclaimer that I'm not 100% sure they are the ranges for Ellen, I'm just saying what's worked for me and I seem to be able to track um, strike groups effectively on it. I can't really track aircraft carriers and missile carriers as I don't think they use radar, so don't you can't catch everything with this technique but it is pretty. it's going pretty well for getting strike groups. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, it's really helping, loving all your comments, I'm learning too. Thanks very much.